Okay, so what we want to cover here is how to take off your cinema display, and I'm assuming it's the same as an iMac, uh, how to take this stand off if you want to put on a Visa mount or some other kind of mount. And then um, for me, that wasn't so bad. The hardest part was actually putting it back on. And I went through a lot of forums and didn't have any luck. It's just one of those things you wrestle with for 20 minutes and then all of a sudden it works. Um, I've managed to get this to work almost on command. Uh, of course, now that I'm doing a video, it won't work at all, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so I've tried using just like a simple card like this that you would get at a grocery store or any kind of you know customer card that you used to you know, get scanned in for discounts, you know, because it's thinner than a credit card. But it's still not enough. It might be enough to get this off, uh, open, so you can take the bracket off. Uh, but it's not going to do the job for what we need to actually put this back on. So what I've got is just a piece of plastic. I don't know what it came from. It's some kind of packaging from something. Like, you know, it's just a useless piece of plastic. Um, but it's got a really nice bendiness to it. And the most important thing is that I'm able to take the end of it and bend it to like a 45 degree angle and that's key not just jamming the card into this space but actually having the bend because the clasp was actually up and in a little bit and so while you like i said you might be able to um, i think when i was taking it off i just had this folded to give it extra rigidity and i was able to pop the clasp but putting it back on there was no way that was going to work so let's look at taking it off first of all uh, the screen is sitting flat on a sofa this is a 27 inch cinema display and the stand leg is hanging over the edge so nothing is otherwise it's going to be held up like this okay so it's just hanging there that'll come into play later for right now what we want to do is we want to lift this stand up with our hand keeping this flat and i'm going to take the card try to do this with my left hand see if it works um put the angle in and you want it to go in and curve up right so it's going to go in and i'm pushing it in and as i do it I don't know if you heard it, there's a tiny little click, and that was enough now to push this down, and then it's going to click and lock so that when you take this bracket off, it doesn't pop back in again. And now you have access to the screws to unscrew them. Okay, so that wasn't bad. Um, putting it back on is a different story, so make sure when you have this all screwed in, you know, wiggle it around a little bit and make sure that you've got these extra tight because you don't want them loosening up and getting caught on the way back out at a later date or even while they're in there. So we're going to do the same thing, but in reverse. And again, the only difference is that you have to make sure that this card has a bend on the end. Um, I'm not sure that your Visa mount card that it likely came with will have something like that. It's usually just going to be a flat card like this one. So again, what we're going to do is this time I'm going to, um, instead of lifting this up, I'm going to push it down because it has a little give there. You know, it'll kind of spring back up. But it has a little give. So I'm going to push this down and insert my card into that space. And you're not going to hear a click more than likely. It's just it's the click of when it actually goes up. But you see how it just went in on its own. I just lifted it up, and now it's in place. And it's not coming back out. All right, so I'm putting it, putting this up, sliding the card in to take it off. And there's that big click. That was what I wanted to hear the first time. And then slide these out. Oh, I just let it go as I did that. There you go. So now it's open. Now to put it back, I'm going to push this down. I'm going to slide the card in and up and lift it like that. Um, if I tried to use another card to open it, that works pretty well. But like I said, if I try to um, push this down and lift this card up, it doesn't want to grab it. It really needs this angle to let it go back up. So anyway, hope that helps. Um, this would have helped me 20 minutes ago or a couple years ago. So uh, if you have any success, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.